Hello, Hello. everybody! Hi. <laughs> uh, this is a video about a beer review. So we are beer. going to... Talk about beer. Talk about different brand of beers. The beer review! Yeah, like the cheap one that you find in the supermarket actually. It's not a yeah, really it's not expensive... It's fancy. Yeah. It's just daily. Uh, so yeah, we rank it from uh, 1 to 5 since there yeah. are 5 we, beers. We will taste them and we will rank and them. And we will rank them. Okay, let's and start with yeah. the youngest one, which is uh, La Chouf. This one. I don't know if I read the name perfectly because I, I don't French. know how to read it. It's the not Chouf. French. Is that hers? It's uh, from Belgium. Yeah, but they speak French, don't they? Yeah, whatever. But it's is from Belgium. Is there a Belgian language? Is, is there a Belgian language? <laughs> I'm, so I'm ignorant, so... Me too. <laughs> I think that if I speak in French, they will understand it. Mm -hmm. When you go inside the websites of the beer, uh, of course they will ask you the age, because uh, you must be old enough to be... Able. Legal age to drink. Yeah. And uh, the second thing is that their websites are really well made. I didn't expect it. I, I, I love their websites. Yeah. Uh, Shout like, out to Squarespace. Yeah, this one Our of uh, La Chouf really. is uh, it's, it's, cute. it's really clear. And uh, this is a beer that was born in uh, 1970s with uh, two brothers, Pierre and Chris. Mm. I will not say the surnames because they're too complicated for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the youngest one above all. And uh, we can try it. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, this is a blonde beer. I like We blonde. start with a blonde. Mm. Alright, first one. Ching ching. Oh boy. It's really good. It's really good. Tasty. It's kinda sweet. Yes. Fruit. Fruity. Yeah, fruity. fruity. Yeah, very nice. Really I'm, I'm gonna buy that one every time, every day. <laughs> like uh, this is the small version of the beer. It's a 330 oh, milliliter oh, with a big ones. eight percent of alcoholic volume. Eight percent. But there's uh, even a bigger uh, size, which is kind of like this. I don't really know the uh, milliliter of that one, but yeah, it's bigger. If you really love it and you want it, yeah, want it. <laughs> you can have a bigger one. I know I want it. The second beer is the Warsteiner. Warsteiner. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, which beer. is a beer from uh, Germany. Germany. Yeah. Deutschland. And uh, he's born in seventy. 1753. Yeah. And uh, what else? I can eat. Uh, is born with the Kramer family. Kramer. Where? Where's the name? Of the family? Yeah. Here. Kramer. Yeah. Kramer. Kramer. And uh, now the heritage of the beer goes to Katharina Kramer. Much. Thank you. Schön. Put this over there. This is tasteless. No, it's not it's tasteless. Bland. Like it's, it's kind of, I feel it like a uh, smoky, kind smoky. of smoky. I don't know. This one, uh, uh, zero point sixty-six liter. And is a 4.8 percent of alcoholic it's volume. It's much lower. Okay, yeah. almost twice as. Cold. I can feel that it's lighter. Mm. It's always a blonde beer, of course. And so uh, the taste, it tastes less yep. than La Chouf. But it's good anyway. Like it's a, uh, it's the really light beer that you drink. Like you still stay with it. Can you even get drunk with this? Like, how many beer can you drink? I can drink ten bottles. Of uh, Barstein. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's really light. Yeah. The next one is uh, La Birra del Baffo. Ah, uh, Italian. Baffo. Birra Moretti, which is born in 1859 from Luigi Moretti. Luigi. And it's called the uh, Beer of the Mustache Man 
because uh, Luigi had a really big mustaches because the trend of the years is, was is having this guy? mustache. He's Luigi? It should be, yeah. I think this he's is Luigi. Luigi Moretti. <laughs> Luigi. And uh, actually, uh, nowadays, of course, he's a product of Italy. But uh, in 1859, uh, Udina, which is the city where he's made this one, was part of the region Friuli, which is part was part of uh, Impero Austro-Ungarico, which I don't know how to trans translate. But nowadays, Udina is uh, in Italy. It's a beautiful city. I've been there, and I really like it. Mm. So, and uh, let's try this. After, actually, it's born in 1859, but after a lot of experiments, the first Moretti beer came, comes out in 1860. And uh, they have a lot of beers. They're always yeah. experimenting. They're always making really interesting things, flavors with the fluids and... Uh, smells nice. È la, è la schiuma. Next taster! È la schiuma, è questo, perché... Because your glass is wet, mine is not. So it doesn't make foam. Mine make it. Ah, really? Okay. Let's Good try for this. you. Chin chin. Tasteless. Blunt. Mm. Horrible. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty neutral. Yeah, it's neutral. It's regular beer. It's not the it's not the best one. Well, well, my yeah. favorite until now is still the actually. first one. Yeah. The, the, the dwarf one. Is yeah, awesome. it's really good. Yeah. This one is uh, 50 centiliter and is 4.8% of, uh, percent of uh, um, alcohol volume. Hmm. So it's like uh, <clears throat> the Vasteiner. Oh, yeah. Wacht. It's low. It's pretty low. <laughs> That's why it tastes that's, less. That's why it tastes less. Oh we like shouldn't. We one. shouldn't try the la, la shof, uh, shof first. This is so strong. Right? I. I was, Everything is tasteless after that. I was trying to go along with the ages, but I actually didn't make it right yeah, because, because this one is uh, we, we older than this one. Mm. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Steiner is older than uh, Birra Moretti. Mm. So, Tannins is born in 1885, like, yeah, 1885, and uh, what else? It's born in Glasgow, in Scotland. I want to burp. Uh, and, uh, well, I don't know if you can do it since it's a beer video, should you? <laughs> Maybe after this one we should make a burp challenge. Right? <laughs> burps louder. I already burped in silence. Oh, oh, it's yeah. so nice of you. Yeah, because okay. I master of burping. So this is a how do you say malto? Doppio malto, double malt. What? Double malt. Ah. Double malt. Double malted. Mm -hmm. Double malted beer. Mm. Strong, strong awesome, we love strong. And it's a nine, yeah, it's nine the more alcoholic, alcohol. the most alcoholic Wonderful. one between between. Let's try this one. This. Wait, you, I, I'm talking here. Really, you're just thinking about drinking. She's mad. Yay. Mad. So, <laughs> this one is 33 centiliter and it has a 9% of alcoholic volume. And it basically has no taste not an history in the website i i like between all the websites i don't really like this one it looks uh, horrible i can make it better really yeah show me how oh. I'm, I'm a web designer i made a website for hotels hi you him <laughs> hi me right now a bit sticky wow because it's strong I like it. Well, it tastes more like a liquor. It, it has a closer feel of liquor. No, it's like like the, the taste doesn't really stay in the mouth. If you notice. So where does it stay? Like it goes away. And it goes away. So why do <laughs> you drink this? And it goes away. Because you want to taste more, so you have to finish. I really? I cannot describe the taste. It's like. Uh. I like it. Good it's for a, you. It's a. Mystery beer. <laughs> it's like a scotch. It tastes like scotch. Scotch. Okay. Man. 
The last one. The last one is Lafayette, which is the oldest one. Do you think? Which year? Which year? Wait, wait, wait. Guess. Guess. Which you, year? You guess. I guess. I already know. How, how am I supposed okay, to guess? Okay, I will tell you the contest. He was born in. Oh, uh, it's written here. Of, uh, 1240. No! <laughs> it's, Spoiler it's the alert. oldest one, and it's written even that it comes from uh, a Bailly, the, the something. I cannot read uh, this uh, alphabet. Anyway, it comes from a monastery. Bailly de Aboige. It's fancy. Look at this uh, golden wrapper. Yeah, Lefebvre makes Thank really you. good beers. I like this like, golden My favorite thing. one though is uh, the red one. Red one. Lefebvre red, but you cannot really find it in the supermarket. Not at all. I don't know, like the blonde ones, you can find every kind of blonde beer. But uh, no, what are you doing? I must play. <laughs> she mad! She <laughs> This one uh, <coughs> is a 33 centiliter and it got a volume of 6.6%. Good, in the middle. Yeah. Not high, not low. Like the. Sound good. That is 8 something. Yeah. The this, first one the is 8. The thickest one is. This is uh, a 9. Tennis. This one is uh, for a really <sighs> beer with alcohol lovers. Pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this really, drunk. really old beer. That's so tiny. So we drink the last time. Oh, it's full of form. <laughs> the next time, if you do make, like, <sighs> what? I cannot speak. What? I I wanted my glass to be wet. Okay. Yours, I, I yours the was it, but mine is like. Ah. You see, there's foam forever. I thought it was clean. Clean is good. How would I know? I'm not professional. I drink. I drink beer from the bottle. Hold on. This is special. This is one. This one is good. It's this very, one is really good. It has a special taste. Okay. Should we made a... I put it in number two, I think. Yeah, me too. So I think that La Chouf is La one. Chouf, number one. Show them the beers. This, number one. This. La Fe. Or left. Yeah, the gold while the, the last one mm. is the second. Very special taste. Yeah. We like it. And then, which one do you like? I will say tannins. They all taste the same, but tannins no. is most more it, special. It got a, I guess. a stronger uh, flavor. I think. Yeah, it's different. I guess. Yeah. So this one is the third. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's put it here. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I put uh, Moretti first. Moretti first. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a nationalism, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because the other one it really tastes nothing. And, uh, it's so blunt. Warsteiner it's so is blunt. the last one. The I'm pizza. sorry, German. I love Germany, but... Yeah, but they, they make uh, other and some beers. But yeah, probably this is not the best beer. After... Right. We have a winner. After one. that you taste La Chouf, yeah. do you really want to drink something else? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yeah, crazy, is... it's so good. Yeah. Belgium. Yeah. yeah. Don't under underestimate the dwarf here, like a... It's a magic dwarf! <laughs> I, I, I would never buy this beer because of this picture. I if I didn't know the taste. It, it doesn't attract customers, like a dwarf? What does it mean? A dwarf? Like, why is, most, why is the dwarf supposed to represent a good tasting beer? Uh, what's the logic? The connection between these two objects. I, I will buy it. You, you, you buy yeah, it? Yeah, like the first time that I saw it, I saw it like, what is that? Why? I want to buy it, I'm curious. <laughs> She's a curious kind. Yeah. I'm not the kind, I, I drink only the same thing. Like you, dr but you drink a beer which represents a beer on it. It's a beer, beer. <laughs> yes. Go go, 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 go. Finish this video, that's it. That's the beer test and thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, and the comments. Leave a comment. So say leave which one. Leave a comment. Say something. W yeah. What's your favorite beer? Tell yeah. me. Tell us what's your tell favorite us beer. Which is your favorite between? Have, have you tasted or... any of those? Do, do, do you do you think our ranking is legit, or you have other yeah. opinions? Tell us something. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things. See you. Bye bye. Bye.